Ranking the cruelest villains in the Far Cry franchise. Ul, Far Cry Primal. Ul is the chief of the Udam tribe. He's trying to create a better future for his people and is willing to do anything to find the best place for them to overcome the Skullfire sickness raging through them. Ul is a powerful and dangerous warrior. His body was burned in battle and he wears the bones of his enemies as armor. We don't know much about him, but he's known for being an evil psychopath and above everything, a cannibal. But in spite of his violent nature, he loves his two kids. He even asked the main character to take care of them after his death. Yuma Lau, the spider, Far Cry 4. Yuma has known Pagan Min since she was a kid. When her parents were taken down by Interpol in front of her very eyes, Pagan's dad took her under his wing. Yuma admired Pagan and looked up to him, thinking of him as her older brother. When he fell in love, she thought of him as weak and cut him out of her life. Her goal is to kill AJ, the main character in Far Cry 4. To do it, she's not afraid to use both rough language and hard drugs. Batari, Far Cry Primal. Batari is the other bad guy in Far Cry Primal. The matriarch of the Izilla tribe is an absolute tyrant who's carried away by her own pride, vanity, and paranoia. She meets her match in Takar, the game's main character. When he refuses to join her, she throws him into a pit of fire, hoping to kill him. She swears to destroy him when he steals the mask of her dead son. Batari uses her powers of manipulation to terrorize those under her rule. Hoyt Volker, Far Cry 3. Hoyt was abused by his father when he was a kid. When he got old enough, he killed his father before joining a band of pirates and drug dealers. He then killed the leader and became himself an international drug lord specializing in human trafficking. He settled into Rook Islands, transformed a corner of that island paradise into a black market for weapons, slaves, and drugs. This is also how he meets Voss, his right-hand man. Hoyt loves to torture and is an absolute psychopath without any remorse. Pagan Min, Far Cry 4. Pagan Min is the son of a Golden Triangle drug lord. He takes control of the cartel upon his father's death and then takes things even further by starting to build his own army. His enemies don't exactly appreciate that and start to conspire against him. Pagan Min escapes to Karat, where he's crowned king after killing the last surviving members of the monarchy. Pagan Min is a different kind of tyrant. He's calm and rarely shows his emotions. Although he's definitely pretty eccentric, his acts of violence are unparalleled and truly terrifying. Shouts. Mickey and Lou, Far Cry, New Dawn. The twin sisters are leaders of a group of highwaymen. They pillage, enslave, and murder absolutely everyone in their way. They even killed their father, the former leader of the gang. The two sisters are very different. Mickey is calm and interested in bettering the world, following her mother's wishes. She's kind of the brains of the operation. Lou, on the other hand, is unpredictable and impulsive. She loves to torture and brutally kill anyone who comes up against her or her sister. John Seed, Far Cry 5. John Seed is the youngest of the Seed brothers, but that definitely doesn't make him the nicest. He's the leader of the church and in charge of indoctrinating the population. He's extremely good at psychological manipulation. He's sadistic and masochistic and forces the people to confess to their sins before carving the word sin with a knife into the foreheads of his recruits. John Seed's cruelty is unrivaled and he loves to inflict pain. A lot of that is because of his adoptive parents who tortured him endlessly when he was a kid. Even his brother Joseph Seed calls John a monster. Voss Montenegro, Far Cry 3. Voss landed on Rook Islands after becoming addicted to the drugs sold by his boss, Hoyt Volker. He becomes Hoyt's right hand man and later takes over the pirates who pillage, rape, and kill the island's inhabitants. Voss helps Hoyt to grow marijuana and kidnap people to be sold as slaves. He's particularly dangerous because he never shows any signs of remorse. Faith Seed, Far Cry 5.
Faith was originally a nice, peaceful little girl. Unfortunately, that meant she got abused quite a bit as a kid. She fell into drugs to try to forget her problems. When she joined the Seed family, Joseph considered her to be like a sister. She tends to play the victim and uses powerful drugs to convert others to Joseph's cause. These drugs cause the people to become very violent. Faith manipulates everyone without realizing the evil she's causing. She's also capable of causing great harm to her victims while they're hallucinating. Joseph Seed Far Cry 5 also known as the Father. Joseph Seed is the leader of Hope County's extremist cult. He truly believes that he was chosen by God, who told him that the end of the world was approaching. Joseph created his cult to protect his children. To do that, he sees no problem with torturing, killing, manipulating, and pillaging. Joseph Seed knows exactly what to say to indoctrinate the inhabitants of Hope County but he's also capable of showing empathy towards the main character. This unstable personality and his unstable actions and words are what make him truly chilling. How would you rank these villains?